In this video, we're going to look at how to draw a cumulative frequency graph. So in this question, we've got the heights of bushes, there's 40 of them, and we've got the height going from 170 to 175, 175 to 180, and so on. But if we look at the cumulative frequency table underneath it, everything starts from 170. So the first group is the same, 170 to 175, which is five individuals and then we then because we want all the sum for 170 to 180 we're going to do 5 plus 18 which is 23 then we're going to do 23 plus 12 which is 35 then 35 plus 4 is 39 and 39 plus 1 is 40 and notice the very last value in the cumulative frequency table is the total. So when we plot this, we plot 175 against 5, 180 against 23, and so on. So we're going to plot 175 against 5. So I'm going to draw across here. And then I'm going to do 180 against 23. Here. And then 185 against 35. And 190 against 39, which is here. And then 195 against 40. And what we get is a S-type graph. So you do this freehand. So you get a nice smooth S for all the points. Do not use a ruler, use a freehand. And because it starts at 170, we have to go from 170 up to this line. And that's how we draw a cumulative frequency graph. So now I've drawn little green lines here to show you what the scale is. So the first green line is 171, the second one is 172, 173, and 174. So every two little squares represents one. This is going to be important when we estimate quartiles. So the first quartile we're going to estimate is called the median, and that's going to be half of the top value, which is 40. So half of 40, which is 20. This will give us the median. And we can come here. And so that will give me 179. Five. So I can say that the median, so Q2 stands for the median is 179.5. I'm just going to write median here so you know it's the median. And to work out the lower quartile, it's half of that. So we half 20, we get 10. Go across here. So What's that going to be? Well, that's 176, that's 177. So we can say that the lower quartile, known as Q1, is 177. And that's going to be called LQ, or the lower quartile. So the upper quartile is going to be 3 quarters, or we're going to do 10 plus 20, which is 30. And 3 quarters of 40 is 30. Go across here and we can read the value coming down. And again, we need to be very careful the way we interpret this. That's 181, that's 182, that's 183. So I get that the upper quartile is 183. We call that Q3 is 183. Just to remind us that's called the upper quartile. So that's how we work out quartiles from the graph or the community frequency graph. Now, there is something called the interquartile range. Now, the interquartile range, known as the IQR, is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So the upper quartile was 183, and the lower quartile was 177, which will give me six. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. 
Okay, welcome back. So here we've got a question, again, of group data. A company tested 100 batteries and we've got the, the frequency in group data. So now we can say, right, so we, let's fill out the cumulative frequency table first. So we're going to do 12 plus 21. So we can do 12 plus 21 here, which is going to be 33. Then we're going to add 36, which is 69. Then we're going to add 23, 92, and we get 100 at the end. Okay. So now our community frequency table is complete. We can now draw the graph. So again, be careful. Look at the scale. This is 51, this is 52, and so on. So every two squares in this case is representing one unit. So we can mark in 53 and 54 there. So just to give us a rough guide. So now we want to plot 55 against 12. So now we need to be careful that we've got 10 squares is 20 so that means that 10 squares is 20 that means one square is going to be two so it goes two four six eight and so on okay so now that we've got that we've established that what's this going up in so we want to draw 12 so that's going to be 10 and that's going to be 12 here so we do 55 against 12 we can draw the first point, 60 against 33. So that's 30, that's 32, it's 34. So 33 is approximately here. Then 65 against 69. Well, that's 70. So it's going to be approximately here. And then we've got 70 against 92. So that's 90, that's 92 here. And then we've got 75 against 100. And don't forget, it all starts with 50. So the line needs to go, to the community frequency graph needs to go to 50 at the end. So it's nice, smooth. Let's take graph. Nice, smooth S, all the way to 50. And that's our community frequency graph. Now, we're going to work out quartiles from this. So we can say, right, the first quarter I want to work out is the median. So half of 100, which is the top value, which is going to be 50. Draw a line to the curve. Line coming down. So we've got our median here. So Q2, which is known as the median. So be careful how we interpret this. So 61. 62 and we get 63 exactly so q2 is 63 then the next value is going to be the lower quartile which is going to be 25 which is here as i've marked in the diagram so we can mark this as q1 which is the lower quartile and we need to be careful how we interpret this value so we get 56, 57, 58. So we get 58.5. So the lower quartile is 58.5. I'm just going to call that LQ in brackets. So minus is the lower quartile. And then lastly, we need to work out the upper quartile, which is going to be 25 plus 50, which is 75. So approximately here. So we go all the way to the curve. It's only an, it's only an estimate. So the examiner will accept a range of answers. And that will give me 66. So Q3 is going to give me 66. And then we can call this the upper quartile. Q3 always denotes the upper quartile. And we can work out the IQR. The IQR is the upper quartile minus the lower quartile so that's going to be 66 
minus 58.5. and I'll get the interquartile range. So I'll get 66 minus 58.5, and that'll give me approximately 7.5.